Hello, my name is Gabriel from Gavac USA. In this video, we are going to teach you how to fix a monitor. As you, as you can see here, we have a monitor. The model is Sync Master 932 and plus the brand is Samsung. As you can see, the monitor works, but in a few minutes, it might stop working. That is why the customer brought us the monitor. So what we are going to do is turn it, out, turn it off and we are going to remove the power cable. In this case, this monitor has some problem with the capacitor, so I'll teach you how to fix that and how to change them. So in order to fix the monitor, we are going to need this device to remove the melt thing. Then we are going to need a solder, as we can see here, and something to support it. That would be great. Plus, we are going to need some capacitors. It is important thing to know that each capacitor has a different value. Like this one, it says 25 volts and a thousand microfarad so the thing that we are going to replace here it has to be the same plus you're going to see the strip line here it, it means the polarity of the capacitor so you have to be very careful when you replace this to use the same values and remember the, the polarity of the capacitor that is very important so I don't know what is the capacitor that we are going to replace. I have many, so it, this is an intro for this video. So in order to do that, to disassemble the monitor, we are going to start pulling up all the frame, as you can see here. So once we have removed this, you have to be very careful because here we have a connector for, from the main panel here from the bottoms. So what we can do is just turn it, turn it around. Then remove the back plastic you can see and you have to be very careful because here we have a connector so we have to unplug it and here we have another connector so that we have to unplug too this is the, from the main panel as we can see here so another thing that we have to remove is this part so we can unplug another connectors that we are going to see here so we can use a screwdriver and then as you can see here we have some protectors so we have to remove them and this basically is to power up the backlight from the monitor so we're going to remove those okay now that we have done this and that we have all the device like separated from the panel we can use a screwdriver to remove the screws here so be very careful don't do much force pushing the panel because you can break it so always be careful not to touch any part of the circuit and the capacitors they hold the electricity for a while so try to discharge them with the, with the short circuit if you want to but just try to keep just keep your fingers away from the capacitors from the circuit just in case if there is some kind of charge you know if you have some pliers or cutter or whatever you can use that to take the 
screws just in case okay it fell off so now we can remove this piece we are going to remove this you can unplug it from here this uh, cable you can just remove it from this cable holder and you can see right so you can move your force here and we have you can unplug it the way i show you and as we can see here we have the blown capacitors the rest looks fine so we are, what we are going to do now we are going to remove these capacitors from here and we are going to put the new ones so we can see here is 800 820 microfarad 25 volt so we're going to find the same replacement so we can change them well in this case i couldn't find the same value so here as we can see we have a 25 voltage and 1000 microfarad so here is 820 so it's very similar so it won't be any problem so remember because sometimes people ask me can I use something similar like I have here? Yeah, you can do that if you do, if you change them both. But if you have like one is fine, but the other one is next to it, and both have different values, it will be a problem. So try to keep them the same value if they are in the same circuit. So now we are going to remove the capacitors. Remember to have the right one just be careful okay great I have removed one so remember the polarity in this case we have the strip line that says minus is here is a negative so in some boards it is backwards like the one that has the strip line is the positive and the other one is the negative but usually is like that is like in this circuit the negative is with a strip line so once I remove this one we're going to put the new one so we are going to keep it like that because the hole was a little filled with thing There you go. You can use the you can use this tool to remove the thing once it's melted if you don't want to fight with the small holes. So it depends on you. So we're going to melt it a little bit. Okay, now we have to do the other one. In this case, I'm going to use the sucker thing so you can see how it works. Right, remember to clean it up later far away from the circuit but you don't want the piece the little piece of metal touching the circuit so you have to be very careful with that okay great I remove it
right we're going to put the other one Wonderful. Okay, now that we have solar both ends, we can cut it with a cutter. Okay, great. So remember, remember to remove any little piece of metal that may fall over here. Okay, okay, there was some pieces that was falling from the circuit, so I don't see anything else that should be bad. Everything looks fine to me at this moment, so we're going to put it the way it was, and then we are going to let it run for a few days or a few hours. We are going to leave the monitor on, like maybe all night, to see that everything is fine, that nothing is wrong. And if it doesn't fail, we're going to deliver it to the customer the next day. So we're going to put the screws right now. Remember to put the screws in the same position that they were before. Don't mix it up. Don't mix them up. So this is a pretty easy way to fix the monitor. So remember that everything should be connected the way, the way it was before. So you know, we're going to put it back. Remember this part is very fragile. So okay. going to use this some of some of them they don't have this kind of protection it's kind of weird this is a, I think the first time I see something like that Usu they usually come without it but it's not a big deal so we're going to leave everything like it was before I'm going to put the monitor back have to do a little pressure to close it up and that's it we're going to turn it on to see that everything works fine Great, the monitor works fine. We have to leave it on for a 
few days like i said before i hope you enjoy this video if you have any doubt just let me know in the comment section and see you until the next video remember to subscribe to my channel if you like my videos and see you in the next class bye